The police are looking into yet another rock throwing case on the interstate. It happened early this morning and the driver is expected to be okay. But police have received more than 30 reports about rocks being thrown at cars since June of last year. Most of them happened on the I-35 lower deck between Manor Road and 40th Street. APD received six reports from the area around Manor Road, seven cases around the 32nd Street Bridge, and 13 cases in the stretch of I-35 around 38th Street. Now, an Austin woman who says she's fed up with these crimes is holding a peaceful protest in front of police headquarters this Saturday. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil spoke with that woman. She's live from where this latest incident happened. Sophia? Imagine you're driving down I-35 going about 65 to 70 miles per hour and then boom, a rock hits your windshield. Well, unfortunately, that's happened to multiple drivers, including last night right here near 38th and a half street where somebody threw a rock over the interstate. And now today, a woman says she is just frustrated with hearing these stories in the headlines and is trying to do something about it. What they're doing is they're throwing the rocks off of these overpasses. Allison Queen says there's no sugarcoating it. I take the feeder roads. Uh, get on I-35. She's afraid and frustrated because someone continues to throw rocks at cars on I-35. The latest incident just after midnight on Thursday. Someone's going to lose their life if this continues to happen. Allison's friend Ken Johnson almost did. In 2014, one of those rocks smashed through his windshield. He suffered a severe head injury, a stroke, and is still recovering. I just want to see anything happen, to be honest with you, because nothing has happened yet. APD says officers are patrolling the area, but won't give other details. There have been talks about putting up cameras, but the city claims it's a pricey option. Allison Queen says she's now on her own mission to stop the crimes, and even talking about raising money to put cameras in the area herself. I would like to ask, you know, the city of Austin and the police department, if this were one of your friends and family that were victims, would you move faster? Would you do something quicker to protect them? Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to hear from Kenneth Johnson's family. He was one of those injured severely when somebody threw a rock off of I-35. And we'll hear what his family has to say about his recovery and what they want to see happen. Reporting live from Central Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News.